TV Real Estate, a weekly showcase of homes for sale across Ontario. And we're going to sit down with some of the most savvy real estate brokers and salespeople in the industry. So if you're looking for a house to buy or sell, stay tuned because you just might see the house of your dreams on this show or be introduced to your next real estate agent. Coming up on today's show, sales representative with Royal LePage Meadowtown Realty in Mississauga, Jeff Borg, with his feature listing of 877 Spinning Wheel Crescent in Mississauga. She's a broker with Sotheby's International Realty in Toronto, Janice Williams, and she's got her feature listing of 3121 Theatre Road in Coburg. Sales representative with Remax West Realty in Bolton, Stuart Sinclair, with his feature listing of 8 High Forest Court in Palgrave. Your home is one of the biggest investments you'll ever make. So it's a good reason to use a seasoned professional, or specifically someone with more than 30 years experience. Jeff Borg with Royal LePage Meadowtown is one of their top agents in Mississauga, and he's with us now in studio. Good to have you here, Jeff. Thank you for having me. That's not true, right? Uh, 30 years experience, you must have started when you were you can't be a real estate agent when you're 10, you no, know. No, well, thank you, but yes, 30 years, almost wow. 30 years, yes. Wow, mm -hmm. so you obviously love what you do. Love what I do, absolutely love what I do. It's just, uh, I don't even think of it as a job. Yeah, it's I just get, you know, I guess, paid or to meet people and problem solve. And so for me, it was just, it's a neat thing to do and it's always different and uh, everything's different, it changes. and. Our daughter works with us, and uh, and we lo love it. She loves it. I love it, and my wife works with us as well. And uh, collectively, the three of us really enjoy it. Where did you start? Was it in Toronto? Yeah, Toronto. I I started um, at a different office, Home Life Five Star in North York, for 22 years. I grew up in North York, um, but I primarily sold real estate in Mississauga. Had a home office, and then when we moved from there, um, I changed offices because I wouldn't be in the area where I was working and. I had to have an office close to where I worked. And then I joined Royal LePage, and we've been there ever since. So with all of that, yes. you, you have a, a vast knowledge of the GTA yes. and can really service your clients, mm -hmm. right? Not, we, yeah, we do lots of real estate in Mississauga. Um, certainly Toronto, because I grew up there and I was born there. I um, do some uh, stuff in, in the city, um, in the downtown core, um, Oakville. Not so much east and not too far west, um, but primarily, I would say Mississauga would be our focal point. And Old Meadowvale Village would be the targeted area that we do lots of our business. If you were to stick a pin on it, that's right what there. it would be. Right there, yes. It's this hands-on approach that I think your clients probably really enjoy, right? You, you look at it as a way to problem solve and yes. help people. For them, it's a huge investment, so they need someone who's there to hold their hand. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we approach it, I won't say a little differently, but we approach it from what would I want if I was them and they were me? So, and that's how we've kind of built our business. Um, we have people who come in and will change some lights and do some painting and some staging and you know, if we have to rearrange some stuff. And it, we do that and it's complimentary. So we have a, a team of people that come in. Um, we have a stager who'll come in and offer some advice and they'll move some things around, take some things away. Um, if the colors um, don't lend themselves to what we're doing, we'll have a painter come in and, and do some painting. Um, we'll change some lights to make it a little bit brighter and it's more like a value added proposition. So we try to add some value and change the price and by doing so, um, become a team. Well, that takes the pressure off the client. You make those decisions, you help uh, make those changes happen, yep. and the client can just sit back and yes. let you sell the house. Um, yeah, because they are usually busy at work, um, maybe not handy. Um, it's hard to get people to do small jobs, whereas we have those contacts because they're doing small jobs on 30 or 40 or 50 homes for us. So it's easier for me to get these people to come in and do small things versus a vendor trying to find somebody to do it. And then also we're doing it. So while they're at work, their house is being transformed. You've got the house looking good, but people have to know the house is available for sale. So how do you market? What's your approach there? And how do you do it differently from other companies? Um, so we're basically, when a listing of ours goes live, it goes live everywhere. So it's on all social media, it's obviously on the Toronto Real Estate Board, it's on our website, it's on Facebook, it's on LinkedIn, it's on Instagram. We do custom photography, we do video. So it's just really, um, irrespective of the house, small, big, inexpensive, 
expensive, it's exactly the same. And uh, it, it works. I would love to have you as my real estate agent. I know somebody watching right now says, he's my guy. So how do people get in touch with you so that they can make that connection? Um, well, they can get in touch with me um, via a, a cell phone. Uh, they can go on our website, which is just my name, jeffborg.com. They can call me through the office, 905-821-3200, um, 416-930-7120. Um, and we're very quick to call people back. Right on. Yes. Well, keep being good to people. They love it. Thank you. Wait, wait, <laughs> and wait, it sells houses. And we too. love it too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jeff. You're welcome. When we come back, Jeff's going to give us a virtual tour of one of his current listings on Spinning Wheel Crescent. Doesn't that sound beautiful? You're watching On TV Real Estate. Stay tuned. I'm Val Cole, and thanks for tuning into On TV Real Estate. This is your weekly showcase of homes from across Ontario. Jeff Borg is with me now. He's a sales representative with Royal LePage, Meadowtown Realty in Mississauga. And now, Jeff, you're going to take us through a virtual tour of one of the listings you've got yes. uh, currently active. Uh, where Where is this beautiful home? This is in Meadowvale Village in Mississauga. Okay, what's the address? 877 Spinning Wheel Crescent. Oh, I just love the sound of that. It's a very nice street and it's a lovely house. Just hearing the name, I want to live there. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so th this particular house has hardwood floors throughout the main floor. Beautiful. Um, open concept design, um, some decor pillars and um, decor um, patterns on the wall. Yeah, everybody loves those little details, right? Absolutely, this, and nicely painted, wonderfully decorated, uh, fireplace, very cozy, um, old wool charm. I want to have my coffee in that living room. I uh, yes, a lot of people do want to have their coffee there. <laughs> um, it, it backs the, the back of this house. Uh, there's a huge backyard, fully fenced, large deck. You can see the kitchen. The kitchen's wonderful too. Gourmet kitchen, granite counters, um, updated wonderfully stainless steel appliances. It's open, but I don't have to watch somebody uh, frying bacon. Right. If I don't want to. Right. Absolutely. And nice breakfast area. There you go. The kitchen. It's a little center island vacant so you, you can move right in so you're looking for a place to come to that's a pretty big bedroom yes <gasps> bathroom has been done love yeah that. lovely absolutely gorgeous a beautiful feature of this house is the neon suite totally redone so th this looks like a recent renovation yeah yeah so this was renovated probably within the last year year and a half yep oh man that's yeah, gorgeous that would make for some smooth mornings yes absolutely and freshly painted Hardwood floors, finished basement. It's it's a wonderful house. Second oh, that, kitchen. There's your finished basement, yeah, which you could turn into an in-law suite, I suppose. Absolutely, yep. There's a full bathroom, a kitchen. Um, it's it's move-in ready. Love it. Yeah, it's wonderful. And the location's fantastic. There's great schools around. There's a Credit Valley Conservation. There's big yard. Big yard, huge yard, lovely deck. Great for kids running around. Um, it, it's a wonderful house. All brick. Beautiful. Beautiful yeah. exterior, too. Yes, yeah, wonderful. It's got great curb appeal. Where can we get in touch with you? Um, you can get in touch with me at the office, 905-821-3200. On myself, 416-930-7120. By email, jeff at jeffborg.com. Or visit our website, which is just jeffborg.com. Jeff, it's been a pleasure having you today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Coming up after the break, luxury real estate broker Janice Williams is in studio with a tour of her latest listing, 3121 Theatre Road in Coburg. Stay tuned for more on TV real estate after the break. In her spare time, she's a contributor for a renowned Canadian magazine. She's an avid collector of unique motorcycles. She golfs, skeet shoots, she's a sailor, volunteer worker, classical violinist, and artist. Please welcome Janice Williams, luxury real estate broker with Sotheby's International Realty Canada. My goodness, you are busy. I'm busy. <laughs> Clearly your personal life is very well-rounded. You like to explore all different things, but yes. your career is very well-rounded as well because you come to the real estate world with a, with a background in design, marketing, what else? Uh, design, marketing, pro project management. Um, I was very fortunate in my, uh, my late teens to uh, late 20s. I, um, 
I was able to go to different companies and learn different tr uh, skills and, and so forth. And uh, everything that I had done prior to my career in real estate has helped me um, evolve in my career and uh, I constantly try to reinvent myself so and that's true for everybody isn't it it's yeah. it always it always benefits us what we've done in the past Absolutely. so how do, speaking of benefits how does that help a potential buyer or seller with with all of these varied interests and and educational pursuits how does that help me when I want to sell my house well I think I think selling real estate it's it's not it's not to me it's not a business it's more of a you know, in real estate, people like to do business with people that they feel an affinity towards or that they trust, or the and that they trust. Um, so a lot of the hobbies that I have and interests that I have, uh, you know, I've never limited myself in my life to try new things and so forth. And along the way, I've met some really terrific people, some of which who have become my clients. Um, in my past work experience, everything that I've learned um, you know, from, from marketing. I do all my own marketing, all my own pieces. Um, I get help, obviously, from the, from the marketing department at Sotheby's because it's so fabulous, but I like, um, I like creating new things and, and uh, trying new technologies, new techniques, and always being different than everybody else out there to be recognized. Well, so. it shows, certainly, in your success in the real estate market, which started, interestingly, more in the urban landscape you, you were selling in Toronto and, and you're a city uh, broker. So yes. you eventually uh, g gravitated towards the, the country. What drew you out there? Well, uh, growing up, I had the benefit of living in the country and in the city. Uh, my parents were divorced, and so weekends I'd see my father in the country, and then I'd live my life in the city. And it, I, grew to or I, I grew to love both. Um, earlier in my life, obviously, I, I gravitated more towards the city side, and uh, about uh, 15 years into selling real estate, I made an about face, and I decided I wanted to get away from the city. There's too much traffic for me and uh, congestion, and I just wanted to come home and see the stars, smell clean air, and have my privacy and, and peace when I, uh, when I came through my front door. So. And that's why I, I chose to live in the country. It's good for the soul. It is. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, I wonder if that's what is attracting your buyers, because they might be coming from their luxury penthouse or something in downtown Toronto. But there's something about the country that's drawing them out there too, right? Uh, yes, I agree. I, if you want to move out to the country, you, you want to be there. It's not something you can really convince anybody. Uh, uh, people have in mind this idea of a, a country property, either you know buying land and building their own piece of paradise, or uh, maybe a century home, um, maybe an equestrian facility. It just depends on what their lifestyle is. So skeet shooting range. Skeet, skeet shooting, yeah. <laughs> We've become fast friends. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and when people are transitioning from the city to the country, I mean. It, it is a change and even for me having grown up it was still a change for me as well and uh, so understanding both the city side of real estate um, and then introducing them to the country you know getting them um, it's like you're speaking both languages I am speaking both languages yeah and and I help them adjust um, make it very seamless and, and an enjoyable experience you've probably got people thinking right now Maybe they're living downtown Toronto. They're starting to think about making that move to the country. And they want to contact you, of course, because you know what you're doing. How can they do that? They can reach me through my website, which is JaniceWilliams.ca, or they can reach me through the Sotheby's office at 416-960-9995. Thank you, Janice. And when we come back, you're going to be giving us a tour of one of your latest luxury listings, 3121 Theatre Road in Coburg. You're watching On TV Real Estate. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Val Cole. Thanks for tuning in to On TV Real Estate, your weekly showcase of homes from across Ontario. And with me right now is luxury broker Janice Williams with Sotheby's International Realty Canada in Toronto. Janice, you're here to 
help take us through a virtual tour of one of the properties that uh, is in your listings right now. What is it? Where is it? It's 3121 Theatre Road, and that's in Coburg, and it's situated about, uh, about five to ten minutes between Coburg and Port Hope, uh, which are pretty little towns about an, out, an hour east of Toronto towards Montreal. Beautiful area. Um, a very beautiful area. It's, um, there's a big private school community there. Trinity College School is uh, located there, which is very renowned. And uh, there's a lot of Canadian celebrities who have chosen that area um, and called it home. It's very picturesque, pretty rolling hills. And I have this very, very special property uh, on Theatre Road that uh, I just brought to market a few months ago. It's huge. It's significantly large <laughs> yes um, it's so it's uh, it's got two wings it's got the main the main house um, here we see the foyer uh, it's it looks like it's out of the pages of architectural digest uh, the way that it's designed it's very tastefully done you know it's a big house but I still feel at home I feel like there are cozy spots yes well the 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 current owners they've they tried to make it very warm and inviting it's a family home um, it's all wood burning fireplaces no gas and everything's been done you know with thought and care and meticulously planned they they custom built the home the original they are the, the original owners um, they've done a, a Neff kitchen which if, if you're familiar with Neff they're one of the the best uh, kitchen makers. Top of the line, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful kitchens. Uh, they love to entertain. And we got a large dining room here, which walks out to uh, walks out to a beautiful terrace. Uh, master bedroom is main floor. Uh, it's got a large walk-in closet. Uh, beautiful bathroom. Yes, <gasps> oh ensuite my. bath with a. It's got a jacuzzi, and again another large terrace. Uh, upstairs you have uh, four bedrooms. So again, for a family home, it, it, uh, it's a lovely family home. There's a, a, a master actually on the second floor as well. I see that some of the European touches in this home with that walk through there. The, bree the breezeway, the yes. The breezeway, yeah. Yes. Well, they, they have their home offices uh, on this, this part of the house here, but it could be converted to, um, you know, for multi-generational living, you can convert it into a, an in-law apartment. Look how um, beautiful that is. Yes. All oh, the grounds on this house are really exceptional. I mean, you can see everything they've done, all the planting, all the ornamental trees, flowers, um, all the stonework. I mean, everything is done impeccable. They, they found these beautiful gates um, that add, there's, there's little pieces like that that add interest to the property. How many pool parties have you attended? <laughs> and now what's this? Oh, this is the cabana, 1,900 square feet uh, cabana. They've had large, large parties, up to 500 people, um, wood burning fireplaces. It's, it's done. It's almost done in a commercial sense. It's the you feels know, like a resort. Yeah. It's like a resort. That's exactly it. Um, it's very private, 10 acres, and very close to Port Hope, and uh, about 30 minutes from the GO train. So people who like to commute back and forth, they can drive 30 minutes, jump on the GO train, and go downtown Toronto to Union Station. It's uh, it's very convenient. But Spectacular. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. And I can see your marketing expertise showing there because you really marketed that home beautifully. The shots were beautiful. The, the, the design of the house was beautiful and you showcased it perfectly. So Absolutely. it really does speak to your talent as, as a realtor and, and as a marketer. Uh, that, that house won't stay on the market long. Well, I, I, I appreciate that very much. I, when, we, when we market these type of homes, we look at the things that um, we ask the homeowner, what are the things about this house that you enjoy the most? And we try to translate it on film and, and uh, you know, create that connection emotionally with buyers to try to connect them to a house such as this. And, and it is a really, a really special property. We're very proud to represent it. And um, it will go to one, one very lucky uh, family. <laughs> well, maybe that family's watching right now. How do they get in touch with you? They can get a hold of me at uh, JaniceWilliams.ca or through the Sotheby's website at sotheby'srealty.ca. Thank you so much, Janice. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up after the break, sales representative with Remax West Realty in Bolton, Stuart Sinclair is here in the studio, and he'll have a tour of his latest listing, 8 High Forest Court in Paul Gray. Stay tuned for more on TV Real Estate right after the break.
comes to turning houses into homes, that's when you can count on the Stuart Sinclair team in Caledon. And nobody knows the real estate business better than Stuart Sinclair. When he's not riding horses and his motorcycle in the country, he's helping people buy and sell homes. Look at you. You're like a white knight riding in on a white horse to save the day. I try, I try. <laughs> Thanks for having me. How long have you been in the real estate business? I've been doing it since 2002. It seems like a long, long time ago. Things were way different back then. Yeah, I guess you're right. I, that's, what, 17 years ago now? 17 years ago. Wow. They so had have things actual, changed that much? They had actual carbon copy offers back then and dot matrix printers. It's like the dinosaurs were still around. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> well, uh, then, I'm sure it still is now, buying and selling, it's, it's kind of a complicated process. It can be complicated. We try to make it as easy on our clients as possible. How do you do that? We walk them through the process. We try to make sure that they don't worry about too much. Um, a lot of people try and over worry about things, but we keep them calm, explain the process to them, and you know, make, th make sure they're happy at the end of the process. That's the most important thing. It really, it's, it's a very emotional process for the buyer or the seller. It's your job to calm them down. Yes, get them off the walls and off the edge of the, of the cliff. Yeah. I've been there. We, uh, we make sure that our clients walk away from the process um, extremely happy. They're our cheerleaders. We'd like them to tell their friends and family, so we make sure that they're happy at the end of the day. Real estate runs in the family, is that right? Real estate does run in the family. My mom, uh, sh Lois, she got into the business in 1989 when the market was tanking a little bit. Um, then she got me into the business, kicking and screaming in 2002. My wife got into the business, Tamia. She looks after our social media marketing and our client care stuff. Uh, my dad puts up our signs and my daughter helps us with uh, open houses. She helps walk the people around, shows them the house. How old is she? She's nine. Oh, come so on. So she really enjoys it. And my brother is a, uh, he's a realtor in LA. So it really is in the family. That's great. Well, it shows, right? Because you're so passionate about this business. And so much so, you've won awards. Tell yes. me about that. Um, we don't, we don't like to advertise our awards too often, but we've got the Hall of Fame Award, Lifetime Achievement Award, um, but it boils down to just helping our clients. Well, people love you so much, and, and because you help them with their buying and their selling of their homes, but the community loves you too because of all the hard work you do. Tell me about some of the stuff you're involved with, uh, with outside of real estate. Um, Giving back to the community is pretty important to us. Uh, we give out to, or give back to Caledon Community Services. Um, along with each one of our, our transactions, we give to the Children's Miracle Network, which is important to us because our daughter is type one diabetic. So we've done a number of trips down to sick kids. And um, I do have a friend right now that is uh, riding his motorcycle from Tuk 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 all the way down to Argentina to raise money. And it's Motorcycle for Miracles, and he's doing a fantastic job. So we sponsor him as well. We give, you know, to help out his ride. And so giving back to the community is really important to us. And people don't understand it's, uh, it costs so much money to treat children because they need different sizes for any size of kid. Yeah. All that equipment. Very so important. Good for you. Oh, thank you. Your office is in Bolton, right? Where, where exactly is that? So Bolton is the urban center of Caledon. Caledon is made up of a, of a whole bunch of different villages. You know, there's Caledon East, uh, Caledon Village, there's Terracotta, Bell Fountain. Um, that's all in Caledon. Our office is out of the urban area of Bolton. We serve Palgrave, Orangeville, Tottenham, Vaughan, different areas, but we're based out of Bolton. So if someone is living in that area and wants to hire you guys to buy or sell, how do they get a hold of you? They can visit the StuartSinclairTeam.com or give our office a call, 905-857-7653. Right on. And when we come back, you're going to walk us through one of the listings you've got running right now, right? Yep. Fantastic. Awesome. Virtual tour with Stuart Sinclair when we come back. Thank you so much for tuning into On TV Real Estate, your weekly showcase of homes for Cross Ontario. Right now, Stuart Sinclair is here with me, and he's a sales representative with Remax West Realty in Bolton. And now he's going to walk us through a virtual tour of one of his homes. And this one's uh, on 
what is it? The it's number eight. High Forest Court. High Forest Court. In Colgate. It sounds luxurious. It's a beautiful, beautiful bungalow. It's uh, very well done. Uh, it's in an estate subdivision on a quiet court, and not a lot of people even know that that court exists. Now, this beautiful home, you're telling me, is a bungalow? It doesn't look like a bungalow. It is a bungalow. There is. Uh, it's very open concept. They've done some barn, barn beam accents in the ceiling. Spectacular. Uh, there's three bedrooms on the main level. It does have an elevator as well to the lower level. And the lower level is awesome. It is a walkout to the pool. It has a little wine room. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms as well. Oh, it's this, a stunning home. This backyard, oh my goodness. The backyard is really, really nice. It has an in-ground pool which is heated, which would be awesome for parties in the summertime. It has a nice big deck, very nice. So a bungalow because it's only one story above ground, is yep. that right? Yep. Because it's, it's a huge home. It's a very big home, and because it's open concept, it, it it's big, but it doesn't feel oversized. It's still very, if you have a uh, party and people over, everybody can sort of conjugate in the great room and in the kitchen, so it's it's quite a nice layout. Master bathroom, I, that tub, spectacular. They uh, they went a little overboard on the master ensuite. Um, <laughs> Never. It's their you oasis. Take that back. <laughs> it's their oasis where she can, you know, lie back and have a glass of wine in the tub and, you know, really live that lifestyle. The kitchen. Nice and big, but very, very functional. The kitchen actually was recently redone. She moved into the place and totally redid the kitchen, um, and it's set up perfect. It huge island in it. There's a beverage center. Uh, there's a wolf stove on it and stainless steel appliances. A very nice kitchen. Love it. Spectacular home. Thanks so much for sharing it with us today, Stuart. All right, if somebody wants to get in touch with you, they can do so how? The StuartSinclairTeam.com our office 905-857-7653 or check out our youtube channel uh stuart sinclair team right on and that wraps up this episode of on tv real estate i want to thank all my real estate experts on today's show it was so great to be introduced to them and i hope you watching enjoyed our showcase of homes if you want more information about any of the realtors featured on this episode or their listings you can go to our website, ontvonline.ca. And if you're a real estate broker or salesperson and you're interested in being on On TV, stay in touch with us by following us on social media at On TV Real Estate, or just send us an email to request more information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Val Cole.